I want you to forgive me for just a second. I've actually done some work to the Fingerboard Park off camera. Um, well, all I really did was just install another stall lamp, but we'll get to that in a moment. What we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be starting to build some of the wood features for this Fingerboard Park, because most of this park has been concrete thus far. So let's build some wood features. bit that I was using yesterday for the Dremel was not the right bit. So I got a new one today. And this should cut it really well. Bam! Out of there. Alright, now folks, it is time to put this house in. But first I have to modify it a little bit. So let's modify this house. On today's episode of Extreme Home Makeover. Alrighty folks, let's see how she fits. And it fits perfectly. So this would be a really lame one dialed video if I just left this poor log cabin not accessorized and decked out. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna make this thing super sweet. The first thing I'm gonna use is this uh, tan moss and I want to make the flooring inside this tan moss color just because um, it'll be different than the greens that are on the ground and it'll kind of look like it's carpet but it is grass so it'll match the rest of the grass. I don't know. I think it'll be cool. So this will be the flooring but I'm going to grab some other things I'm going to put inside of it first. So I have this fingerboard, this fan made and it's actually really cool. It has my face on it. Um, I'm going to put this inside as well as the painting. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this little piece of wood to the back of it. So that way I can mount the board through this circle piece right here. So let's do it. All right, that's on there. I apologize, you guys can't see this very well, but I also can't see it very well because it's inside of a little house. So let's, um, let's try to do it. That is in there. Nice. And now I'm gonna glue the painting as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. But everything is installed in. And it looks fantastic. Now we gotta install these lights. Now let's put the grass.
folks, let's install these stairs. All right, I apologize, the camera died. Um, but we're at this point now. I have installed one, two, three pieces of wood. I'm gonna install four. All right, I don't need that piece of wood. I don't need it. Ooh. This looks very nice, I'm very pleased with this. Looks very good. Let's nail it in. So when I was stapling in, uh, these stairs, I knocked some of these lights down, so I'm gonna glue them back up. Alright guys, it's now time to work on this ledge again. So when I initially got these tiles for this ledge, I thought it was gonna be a really nice grinding surface, but to be honest, it's kind of boring. And metal feels way better. So I'm going to basically surround this thing in metal, but I'm gonna do something a little bit extra, and you guys are gonna have to watch and see what that is. All right, so there's the basic outline of it. It is now time to install this. probably wondering, uh, Will, why are you chiseling out the thing you just put in? The reason I'm chiseling it out is I want to make it look a lot cooler than it looks right now. And the way I think it would make it look cooler is if I had a tile back here.
guys, so you've seen me construct this thing. And basically this thing goes... Dun, 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 dun. Right there. And it looks great. Before I install this, I got to take the sander and I got to sand this a little bit. So let's do it. Put this thing in. So you saw me cut this thing out and you're probably pretty curious what this is. This right here is actually going to be a support for this ledge. Um, it's not really held in that well right now so I want to put a better support in there. So I'm going to staple this together and screw it in. I honestly can't believe I built this. modify some little areas with concrete to match that other section a little bit better. And when I first made this, I was, it was a really good size and everything was fine, but since I built this other section, I've realized that this is kind of small and I want to bump it up a little bit. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and um, let's do that.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so right now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building um, this hubba. And something that's really cool, actually, is um, when me and Clayton built the initial mega ramp section of this fingerboard park, we built this wave right here mostly to color the fish tank. Like, it's mostly just here for the fish tank's sake, and so that way this had something to rest onto. We never put this wave in, like, a specific spot. It just kind of happened to be there. And there wasn't initially even supposed to be a wave. I just thought, well, there's waves over here. I might as well make this one a wave since it's an empty piece of wood. But anyway, that worked out beautifully for me. And I'm actually so stoked because I have created this rail right here. And basically, this rail is going to encapsulate this hubba. And it's going to stick out a little bit. And basically what I'm gonna be doing with this is I'm gonna be creating a hubba that's not just a normal hubba because it has this rounded part at the end. Because this spot of the skate park is really kind of awkward to ride, especially if you're right-handed, you'll be like, you'll be in this awkward, super awkward angle and you'll have to like ollie down these steps. So what I wanna do is I wanna make the entrance onto this hubba really easily. And the way that I thought of doing that is to make it kind of a wally. So that way you could wally onto it and you know, keep your flow and keep your finger position. Um, so I'm gonna put that in, but I'm also gonna put in this little extension right here in the back of the half pipe, just so there's like a little bit something over here, like something a little bit extra you can bump up onto. And I also wanna cover up this gash right here. There's like this white gash, and that was actually from the sander when I was building uh, this section. So I wanna get two birds knocked out with one stone, and um, let's build this. Another day, more concrete. That didn't even rhyme. But here we go. And three, two, one. 